me feel a little bit more um, closer to my culture. Be prepared to eat lots of food, actually, yeah. because all the aunties will tell you to eat no matter what. So, when did you first taste American food? You know, I my first taste it yeah. McDonald's. I like it. Yeah. This is the Hmong community in Milwaukee. We've been in America for the last 40 to 50 years, and I believe it's time to raise awareness of our culture and let others know about our existence within Milwaukee. While U.S. Census data shows that the population is growing, some of the cultures and traditions are being lost as they further assimilate into American culture. The Hmong began coming to the United States in the late 1970s as refugees after the Vietnam War. Well, I think it's very important to preserve the Hmong culture, and our, our culture is actually dying. I met with Yang Tavu over the course of a few months to learn about the Hmong community in the greater Milwaukee area. He took me to a dance recital in Waukesha County, a wedding on Milwaukee's south side, and his neighborhood on the northwest side. In this story, you will see and hear untranslated Hmong words because there's no direct translation to English. Hi, my name is Yang Tavu, or I go by Cloud, and I want to show you the Hmong community in Milwaukee. The 4-H Club actually invited us in Waukesha County to come showcase Hmong culture from Milwaukee County. I think it will be very enlightening for other people of other cultures. What are you going to perform? For our Lu Sheng, or, or as we call it, Heng. What is that? Uh, it's a performance where we show our skills by blowing the Heng and jumping to perfect our skills and like show what we do in our culture. The culture is very, very pretty. And um, the clothes especially, it looks like so complex and it's just so pretty. <laughs> the coins on here is basically to tell how much money you got. I would say from what I see is that it's spiritual witness because not many of us are like rich, rich like that. While it isn't as popular among young people, some are trying to keep their traditional dance alive so it can continue to be passed on to future generations. Hmong culture is getting very left in the past because new generations are growing and new generations aren't learning about the past Hmong culture. Along with dancing, others hope to preserve traditional wedding practices. Oh, we're going to a Hmong wedding today. More and more Hmong youths are adopting to um, Christianity and to American weddings. So with that happening, the practice of Hmong wedding is in, is in decline. <laughs> These weddings are full of tradition and gestures. The groom and his best man bow to show respect to the bride's family and their elders. This process can take hours. Cigarettes are given as a gesture, and drinking is a sign of respect and part of the ceremony. And so let's say, for example, I don't smoke, but they give, give me two, two cigarettes, which is, I have to accept it, and then I can give it back, or I can give to somebody else who smokes, that's fine too, but, but that's the, the tradition. The giving of a chicken is a symbol for good fortune. Yeah, the chicken is one of the animals that, uh, that can predict what's happening. You know, let's say if, the, if the, the feet looks good, the eye looks good, the feet turn a certain way, meaning that they are lucky and so on, just, just the culture.
And while it's important to understand where the culture is going, it's equally as important to understand its past. We're gonna be going to my uncle's house. Hi, Uncle Han. Long time no see. Yeah, long time no see. I came from the refugee camp from uh, Ubon. Why do you want to come to the United States? The new government, when they took over, because I don't know anything about it. All I, all I know when they took over, you know, I see a lot of kill people. They hang up to the tree. So, did you achieve everything you wanted, Uncle Han? Pretty much. I <laughs> pretty much I got everything I, I, you know, I like, you know, except the airplane. <laughs> you know, in my life, I own three houses, I own three shops. I have a lot of fame, a lot. And on that day, he got to cross off another bucket list item. I want to know. Everybody, I want to know. Can you see me? <laughs> I want to know. Lock on. Lock on. Chokti. Chokti. I feel like it is my job to help each other understand because there's so much differences between us, but there's only one thing that's similar to all of us. We're human. <laughs> I had one last question for Yank Davu. Is there anything else you'd like to say about the Hmong community in Milwaukee? I think the Hmong community in Milwaukee is very um, prideful in the positive context, and we're very strong together.